Hi, and thank you so much for stopping by IngridBohannon.com. Today, I'm talking about style choices, and this is episode one in a three-part series where uh, today I'm going to be talking about fashion style choices. So, a little bit of history. Um, when I was five or six years old, I remember my mom taking me shopping, and I wanted these double layer lace anklet socks really bad my mom says you got enough socks you don't need those and i went home and decided that that sunday i was going to wear two pairs of socks and create my own double layer lace anklet sock <laughs> my feet hurt all day but i did achieve the look that i wanted so that was my entry into the world of style uh, fast forward to now my style is has evolved from being super conservative. When I graduated college, I just wanted to look like everybody else. I wanted to look a little bit more grown because I looked very, very young. That, that was a problem then. It's not a problem now. <laughs> but I wanted to look m more polished and professional and I had a tendency to be uh, very conservative for about three or four years. And then I ran across the designs of a fabulous designer by the name of Barbara Bates in Chicago. And her pieces were just beautiful. She had these suits with jackets that were very tapered and the skirts were tailored just above the knee. And of course they had these huge, huge shoulder pads in them. And I would say I bought a few pieces and absolutely loved them. I would have bought more, but they didn't fit in my budget because <laughs> these were all custom pieces. And um, I would say that's when my style became, it was elegant and classic with a little bit of an edge, which is pretty much the way I would describe my fashion style to this day. Um, my palette, my color palette is pretty much black, gray, uh, camel, brown with a little bit of white thrown in there. Um, fall and winter, I'm typically wearing either a skirt, pair of pants or leggings with a duster, I love dusters, or a longer sweater that's belted over a black, black or white tank top. I don't do a lot of different colors in, uh, in that area, unless it's just a sweater I'm throwing on for accent or something. I don't do prints a lot. Um, and in the summertime, it's dresses, dresses, and more dresses because uh, it gets pretty hot here and that's just the coolest thing that you can wear. I am always in a heel. I love a four inch heel. I do have some little blingy flats and flip flops, a couple pair of shoe boots, a couple pair of boots. I, I'm not a big boot girl. Um, so, and then in terms of jewelry, um, I don't do a lot of chunky jewelry. My go-to are either diamond studs or my, my hoops, um, a ring, and some of my arm candy by Designs by Miss Ann. And um, that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple. I don't do a lot of shopping. Once I bought my first house back in 2008, um, I, I, that all changed. I don't even think about uh, buying clothes and shoes and bags anymore. I would rather spend my time and money in home goods, <laughs> buying decor accessories. So if I had any uh, style tips to offer, the first thing would be to always be true to you and not to trends. Trends will come and go. Um, if you gotta buy, buy trendy, don't spend a whole lot of money on it. Um, but always, always, always make sure you are purchasing pieces that you really feel good in and you enjoy wearing. The second thing I would say is to uh, not to get stuck on buying designer or you know big brand labels. That can be uh, costly. If you can afford it and that's your thing, hey, go for it. But if it's not and you know it's just you're doing it because it's the popular thing to do or your girlfriends are all buying it don't go broke trying to keep up with your girlfriends <laughs> refer back to style tip number one and just uh, look to who you are and be who you are and purchase things that make you happy the other thing i would say is not to be afraid of resale and consignment shops uh, a lot of people are weirded out about wearing something someone else uh, war. Um, I personally love consignment shops. The only thing I don't buy from there are active wear and lingerie, which I don't even know why they sell those things there, but anyway, um, or uh, any shoe. If I see a hint 
of a toe print. I, yeah, I don't, we don't buy those, but if it looks brand new and I like it, I, I get it. I have several pieces from consignment shops in my wardrobe. The one place that that is the go-to place for me for all of my evening gowns, because nine times out of 10, someone wore that gown one time. And while most people don't, you know, uh, repeat wear of their gowns. I do. If I find a gown I love, I will wear it a lot as evidenced in my Instagram feed. If you follow me there, if I like it and I feel good in it, I, I'll wear it. I'll, you know, do a different look with it or wear it to a different function where I'm going to see different people. So yeah, don't be afraid of consignment shops. And then lastly, just buy timeless pieces, things that, you know, you can wear for years and years and years. And, you know, no one would know that you, when you bought it, I have a, a, one of the pieces that I bought from Barbara Bates was this black leather jacket, it's the softest leather I have ever uh, felt. And only thing I did, I took the shoulder pads out and switched up the buttons a little bit. And I've had that jacket now for, I want to say 36 years or so. And it's still one of my all time favorite pieces in my wardrobe. So that's my take on fashion style. Next up in the series is going to be decor style in a few weeks. I thank you so much again for stopping by the blog and uh, just in parting, remember that love, grace, class style is living glamorously from the inside out. Until next time, toodles. Mm -hmm.